Good morning, guys. Hanging out in Canada and uh, having some coffee. And I wanted to go over your YouTube questions and answer some of your questions today. So, I'm looking through my YouTube page now and I'm picking some questions. All right, this one says, let's see. <laughs> some good ones. Okay, this one's from Yasmin TSJB, sent a week ago. It says, what's your favorite TV show if you watch any? Um, I watch a lot of TV shows. I really love TV. Um, but I think my favorite right now is probably Newsroom, the Aaron Sorkin show. I love it. And I have the episode to watch from last night, so don't give anything away. Okay, this one says... Yeah. Oh, it says, if there was a season... Okay, this is from Vani106. I think that, I think you're from Leeds. It says, if there was a season, a 10th season of One Tree Hill, what would you want to have happen? Any Kid Kellers. I definitely think more Kid Keller storylines would be amazing because I love Michael May, who plays Kid Keller, and uh, I think that would be cool. I think we should have a spinoff, maybe a cop show, the two of us. In Hawaii. Okay. <coughs> Who is your celeb crush? Caitlin Stahl. Well, she's on this ABC Family show. And her name is... The show is called Secret Life of the American Teenager. And her name is Molly Ringwald. That is my celebrity crush. No, it's Megan Park on Secret Life. Okay, um, do you have any upcoming movies or TV shows? Oh, again by Caitlin Stahl. Well, you asked a lot of questions. Um, I don't have any upcoming uh, movies or TV shows coming on, but I'm looking now. I think after my European tour, I'm going to hang and uh, maybe look at doing some more um, something else, like another TV show or another movie or something. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. You never know. I'm going to put it out there, though. Um, okay. Okay, this one's from Pepsi Crush. It says, are you going to be touring with a full band anytime soon? And when are you coming to Nashville? I'm, I'm doing a show with my band in Syracuse, New York in a couple weeks. And as far as touring with the full band again, I'm sure at some point, maybe next year. I'm going to finish out this year solo acoustic, do a few shows full band. And then um, I don't know when I'm coming to Nashville again. Hopefully soon, though. I really miss all you guys in Nashville, actually, kind of a lot. Okay, um, okay, this person, Ben Ficka guy, 24, uh, says, Hey Tyler, big fan, I was wondering if you plan on releasing some of your older songs, like California, Say It Like a Lie, and I'd Rather Be Lonely. Those are great tunes, and it would be great to hear. Thanks, man, I pr or thank you, person. Um, I, uh, I want to release those next on my next record. Um, a lot of those songs were kind of tied up in Warner Brothers land when I left the record company, so I wrote new songs for this record, but I think they're released now. It's more information than you need, but all of this is just to say, I think I'm able to record them now for this next record, and I really want to because I love those songs. I'm really glad you like them too. And actually, those would be three songs I'd really want to put on the next record. So glad you dig. Um, okay. This one says, when are you coming to Australia? And P.S. I literally screamed when I saw your face on season nine. So good to have you back. That was by Josie Ward four days ago. Um, I don't know when I'm touring Australia, but I really want to do it. And I really want to do it soon. I said that about Europe for years, and I finally got it to happen. And I think now that um, Europe was so fun, I'm definitely going to try to do Australia. And I also really want to do some Asia, some Asian territories too. But Australia, I've got to get down there. I'd love to find somebody to tour with down there for my first time. Like I had Boyce Avenue when I did Europe for the first time and maybe it'd be cool to have like, uh, I don't know, I've got a lot of um, good friends that are from Australia, like the Veronicas. Um, so maybe something like that would be fun to do. Um, I'll have to see what they're doing. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. 
What's your favorite What's your favorite song of your own? Do you plan on acting again? If so, in what? What's your next tour stop in Ohio? Okay, thanks for reading this. I'm a huge fan. Love you. That's from Courtner Seventy. Um, I don't know. Like my favorite song changes all the time. Right now it's Loaded Gun. I just love playing it live, and I never get sick of it. And it's just so fun to play something like that. And uh, all the other stuff is. Um, yeah, I already answered. I'm gonna try to do some more acting. Okay, let me see what else is going on here. Okay. Hey Tyler, I saw you in Dublin and you were amazing. I was wondering if you had any songwriting tips for an aspiring songwriter and when you come back to Dublin, I'll be front row. Sweet. I'm coming back to Dublin. Um, okay, the my tips for an aspiring songwriter would be to write a lot of bad songs and to write a lot of songs. Because I think you have to fail a bunch to like get a couple good things. Not to be cliche, but I think you gotta write a lot of bad songs. If you plan on writing a lot of bad songs, you're gonna inevitably write some good ones. But writing bad songs is cool because you free yourself up, up free yourself up from trying to be good and you just do something. Sometimes trying to be good can like be a little suffocating. Anyway, but if that's not working, then just write a lot of songs. Whatever you do, write a lot of songs. Okay. The final question, and this is an important one, and it's really embarrassing, and I don't know if I should even answer this on YouTube, but <sighs> Live Love Horse asked, really going deep here, chocolate, vanilla, or mint chocolate chip? And I know what you're saying. I know this is more of a political metaphor that you're going for here, and I appreciate your subtlety. Um, honestly, I don't want to offend anyone, but mint chocolate chip. Mint chocolate chip, live love horse. Guys, thank you for doing this. I'm going to finish my breakfast and um, tame my morning hair. And I think we should do this again soon. Brief update. I'm taking a couple weeks off in Canada. And um, just hanging out by this river and drinking a lot of coffee and reading a lot of books. Oh, you see this new book I'm reading? Thank you, Megan. My celebrity crush is sitting right over there. <laughs> Molly Ringwald. Megan got this for me. Amazing. And by the way, Austin Nichols, if you're watching this, he recommended this book to me like eight months ago and I thought it sounded boring. I didn't want to read it. You were totally right, Austin. Makes me want to also read Ready Player One, which you recommended and I haven't read yet. But this book is amazing. Anyway, I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to be in vacay mode for a little bit. And I uh, will talk to you guys later.